It's me, Mikey Pipes. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Today is Friday, August 13th, and today is Daniel's birthday. Daniel, happy birthday. Daniel is 22 years old today, and I got to give a huge shout out to his parents because let me tell you something, they raised this kid well. Huge, huge kudos to them. Pat yourself on the back, Daniel's son's mommy and daddy. They did a great job raising him. He's got work ethics. He's reliable. He's eager to learn. And overall, he's just a great guy. Thank you. Thank you for raising him the way you did. This morning, I'm heading over to an existing client's house. This is the guy who is the engineer as a hobby. <laughs> He's an engineer as a hobby and has a crazy, crazy lab in his basement, but we're going to install by Alert Labs Sentry. And Sentry is a mobile monitoring service and system that reports conditions of your air conditioning system. And I have it sitting there right here. It's that, an AC monitoring system. And we're going to hook this thing up. I haven't even opened the box yet. I have no training on it whatsoever. But apparently it's easy as pie. Easy as pie. So we're going to hook that up. But first, a reminder. Free stickers are available. Available. So email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. Make sure you check us out on Discord and WhatsApp. We're quite, quite active in conversation on both those platforms. And if you want any crazy flex fit, brand new embroidered pipe doctor hat or shirt, details in the description box down below. Make sure you thumbs up this video. St. Mike commands thee to thumbs up this video and you must do it now because you know this is gonna be a great video. Do it now. And here's a cool little, I guess, little animation thing to remind you, stickers are available. All right, let's go. There you go. There you go. Thank you, sir. There you go. There you go. There you go. And a special shout out to Bobby for making that. Much appreciated. He hadn't sent one in a while, but I love him. All right, let's get the show on the road. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. It's me. It is you. How you doing? Look what I have. Awesome. I have been looking forward to playing now, with this. I did not open the box, but that's how it came. Got it. Hopefully it's all good. Hopefully. We'll see. So on the box, there's a customer app and a contractor app. Interesting. I actually have a, a meeting with them scheduled for today. Training, whatever. Sensi is not compatible with 404, 407, 407 A and C, 600, 290. It is compatible with R22 and R410A. Well, that's good. That is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. This is a nice little... Looks pretty tight and waterproof and durable. It's got some little bit of weight to it. Don't drop it. Yeah. All right. I, I talked to the president of the company last month, and uh, it was a good good chat. But like, part of their design is it's cellular. Yes. Because they don't they their previous experience taught them that depending on the customer's Wi-Fi, is okay. Work. So they're just like we provide our own radio. <laughs> now, is there a monitoring charge? Yeah. What do they charge? I think it's ten bucks a month. Huh. Because I think this comes with a year, and it's just one hundred twenty dollars a year. Okay. And all in, and by the way, this thing with shipping from CE Northeast was $417. Interesting. Yeah. So here we have some kind of module. We'll put that off to the side. Right there. We have another little module. Yeah, it looks like that might be the current transformer. Yep, yeah. that's what it looks like, exactly. And one wire, not two. We'll put that right there. And we have these two, which hook up to, look, interesting. 
Okay. That's the monitor pressure. And here is another high and low side. And we have more stuff in here. Bunch of zip ties, some insulating tape, looks like. Some more instructions. And here is a whole wiring harness assembly. That's what everything plugs into. All right, so let's put this here. Let's put this down there. Let's take this and put that here. And the box is empty. Let's read the manual. All right, there's a few pages of just you know, disclaimers and things like that, FCC regulatory statements. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that everything I see in this, like this, these two pages, what's included is here. And it is all here. So number one, that's the Century main housing. Number two, you have this crazy, crazy cable harness, current sensors, power supply, fuse assembly, pressure sensors. Uh, you know, you see the drill. Step number one, turn off power. Power is disconnected. Number two, attach pressure sensors. Let's see, does it make a difference which one is which? No, but you take off the service port caps, you install the pressure sensors, and you put the cap back on. The only drawback I have with this is it's a potential site for a leak. All right, my two pressure sensors are in on my high side and the opposite side below. You have to act quick, there isn't a o-ring in there or anything so you have to put them on and get your adjustable ready so you have minimal refrigerant loss step three attach power remove the service panel from the rear of the ac unit attach the quick disconnect terminals from the century power supply to unused l1 and l2 quick connect terminals on the inlet power line side of the ac unit's contactor use the included alcohol wipe to clean the surface inside the electrical compartment Peel the adhesive pad on the power supply and attach it to a clean surface. Clip this current sensor around one of either supply L1 or L2 mains and making sure the arrow on the inner surface of the sensor points towards the contactor. Pretty self-explanatory. All right, so he does not have your typical contactor here. He has the Emerson Shore Switch. Copeland makes something similar for their Copeland scroll compressors, but it's a pretty cool contactor. I just, I have the thing, my opinion is over complicating, over engineering things, but. I agree, <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> I know. So, um, L1, L2, I have two available terminals there. Like this was would, would have went to a crankcase heater, and this other one is an extra L2. So, both of those are hooked up to this Sure, Sure Switch Contactor by Emerson. And I used the included uh, wipes to clean off the metal and remove the adhesive sticker and stuck the power supply right there there is an arrow inside there it's, right now it's pointed to the left and you want to make sure that's pointed towards the contact interesting what would be the reason for that mr engineer i honestly don't know it's, like, it's <laughs> ac it seems like it should work either way yeah but i guess it matters to them so we're going to clip that on and clip that in all right next step connect low voltage Power harness, one of them, which is, is it this one? It looks powery, but I'm looking at the instructions. Oh yeah, the ground. So this is power current sensor aha okay all right i ran the power supply cable through this access port with the low voltage wiring i have the grounding up there they give it that little clip and it just attaches to anything metal power to the power supply and then 
the wire going to the current sensor. So the step four is complete. Step five, connect pressure sensors. Connect the red cable on the harness to the liquid line pressure sensor. Connect the blue to the vapor line. Okay, arrange both pressure sensor cables in a drip loop. Okay. All right, I have liquid and vapor hooked up. And just another thought. An issue, a potential issue with this is landscapers. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. We may, you may want to put something here mm -hmm. to protect that. I wanted to clean the spot up anyway because that plant's growing into yeah. there. I didn't put the caps back on. Let me do that now. And we'll tighten them up. Okay. Step six, secure temperature sensors. Make sure the outside of the liquid and vapor pipelines are clean so that a good thermal connection will be possible. Ah, for the temperature sensors. Okay. Right there, da -da -da -da, to the harness, respect the cable ties, then wrap with foam tape. Attach the ambient black temperature sensor to a shaded location near the AC unit, suspended in free air and out of direct sunlight. Okay. Let's do that next. So I cleaned off the liquid line pipe and I used two zip ties and secured the thermosistor, or I guess you want to call it temperature sensor. And now I'm going to take the inclu included foam, insulating foam, and wrap that around there as well. Okay. And now I gotta do the suction side. All right. Vapor is done. Step seven, mount the harness. Attach the harness over mold to a secure location outside the AC unit, such as the AC support bracket or the vapor line. A cable tie is provided. All right. I almost forgot the ambient sensor air, the ambient air sensor. So I got that just dangling right there. It's a little tricky, but there she is. And when the fan comes on, it's gonna suck in ambient temperature. So it's good. Okay. I mounted the harness. Now, mount the unit. Plug the primary cable from the harness into the sensory main housing by pressing the connector in and twisting. Mount the sensory housing to a secure vertical surface with appropriate screws not included. All right, there's the module. I used my Milwaukee M18 drill and Chris was kind enough to give me some screws and shields. I had none left in the truck. See, it's empty. And drill two holes created a drip loop and use the included zip ties to secure the wire. Now, so we mounted the unit, finishing up. Replace the service panel on the AC unit and switch the power back on. The indicator light on the sentry will flash red. Monitor the light until it turns green up to two minutes, indicating a good cellular signal has been achieved. Sign up, sign in at app.alertlabs.com to register and activate the sentry unit as well as to view the Sentry dashboard. Need help? There you go. Help at alertlabs.com. No phone number though, huh? No phone number? No phone number. Hmm. Nope. I would really like, that's pretty cool by the way. Yeah. I would really, and it's magnetic, so it goes right to the shirt. Yeah, you put a little bling on under your shirt. And <laughs> on. Well, you know, I like to wear a pound of gold at all times, <laughs> so you maybe, go. you, you know. Problem is, it only records. I would love, I would love to release. find, and I have a pair, I, guess, I think I have in the truck, um, video glasses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I'll show you what I have in the truck. Let me plug this in, hopefully nothing blows up. Well, nothing blew up. And the light will turn on red, huh? Oh, we have light. It's flashing. Okay. Let's wait and see what happens. All right, we created an account at our Alert Labs, and here is the dashboard. AC is running. Okay. What else? What other information we got on there? We got uh, superheat, subcool. High subcool. Interesting. 
interesting. Yeah, Nine, seven amps of power. It's 84 degrees outside. Oh, just lost its data. <laughs> it, <laughs> interesting. Oh, it came back. Maybe it takes a while to stabilize. It's flashing purple and green. All right, what other information do we have? I don't know, that's all it says right now. Oh. All right, subcoolant is high. Let's take off some stuff off the top. And let's we'll see how quickly that responds. I don't know if it's live or not. Yeah, I just it's wanted to see right. your finger there, cover up your uh, info. Oh. I'll probably that big. Uh, Oops, let me, uh, let me switch back to the other display then. Let's go to... So I want to I feed the people. Yeah, see, it's a little, a little quirky and buggy there. Sense is okay. First day, so I guess. There you go, 18 degrees subcooling. Hmm, interesting. A lot of data there. Now, what are you going to do with all this data? I don't know. <laughs> collect it. I'm a collector. I know. I know. Uh, I do want to see, you know, if something starts going wrong in the future, then we'll be able to look at the history and see that, oh, this trend has been going like that, so maybe it's just a refrigerator or whatever. Yeah. All right, good stuff. I'm just not a fan of all the wiring down there. It is a little bit, yeah, hard to... Remember. Yeah. It would have been nice if, like, I know it's more work, but if you, you can cut that back to cabling and make it more nice and prettier, you know, but then again, that would... Exactly. And we would compromise the unit and could get water in there. No bueno. But okay. We'll see what happens with this. All right. I'm quite impressed, to be honest with you, with Century by Alert, Alert Labs. It's... Listen, I was on site for about an hour. And granted, yes, first time installing the system. I also recorded the steps along the way, you know, it's normally, I think you can install that in about 15 minutes, normally. I think it's a great tool to, for HVAC contractors to monitor, remotely monitor systems, and again, you're recording data. You're recording, you know, everything on the system, and there's also the homeowner's portal as well that basically says, you know, gives it a green light, all systems go, you know? On the contractor side, you know, you imagine having a thousand of these systems installed and you're monitoring live a thousand of your client systems and when something goes wrong, you get alerted and have those billable hours of that truck on the road going taking care of that problem. Um, quite impressed. I am going to try to acquire some more of these and on my new installs, I'm going to build it into the price and build in you know, the, the preventative maintenance plan, which is the monitoring service. And hey, listen, you know, it's, it's a step above that the other HVAC contractors don't offer. You know, 24-7 live monitoring to protect your investment. I think it's great. I think it's great. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Yes, you know, it's not, this is not for a homeowner to install. This is for contractors to install for their clients to maintain their equipment and you know, see a problem before the homeowner calls, hey, my air conditioning is out. I think it's great. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Make sure you thumbs up. I told you it'd be a great video. St. Mike commands you to thumbs up the video and do it now. All right. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.